Hey everybody, it's Jay17402 again. I got cut off last time, but you probably know that. So, and welcome back to another episode of Nature Drew's Secret of the Scarlet Hand. In this episode, we are going to be going back to um, the museum and finishing up, or maybe completing some more of our chores. Alright, let's get started. To Beach Hill Museum we go. Good thing Franklin gave me the museum key. Good thing. Because that keys, or well, actually, Nancy, you probably could just pick the lock. But then again, you'd probably be looking pretty suspicious. Hmm. I'm gonna look up in the temple. Ooh. I need to find a temple key card. Well, I don't have one of those, so I can't do that. Let's look at some of this stuff. Ooh thingy, a doll, or whatever it is, and ooh, pottery piece, I'm gonna need that. Now, I think I should be able to put together that pot. Down the stairs, to the left. Let's put now I can start this. putting this together. All right, now let's put together this pot. Mm -hmm. This piece goes here. Mm, let's see. This piece goes. No, that doesn't matter. Uh, this piece goes here. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, what? I can't put that there right now. Are you kidding mm -hmm. me? Oh well. Oh well. Um, nope. This one, I think. Yeah, that goes there. This one goes here. This piece goes here. Then this piece goes here. And then, come on, Nancy, rotate the thing. This piece goes here. To the right. And this piece goes that's done. here. And that's how you build a pot, everybody. Alright, so. That's done. I can cross that off my list. Uh, I can cross the bring the agenda off my list. Um, order bubble wrap, packing tape, sticky labels. That's next on my list. So the um, number for the um, bubble wrap place is right here, uh, 555-9963. All right. You have no mail. Press oh, shut up, Miss Lady. 555, what was it, 9963. Silvio's I'd like to place an order, please. Have you ordered from us before? How should I know? I've never worked here. Oh wait. Well, I have I mean, personally. No, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I never worked okay, here before. Okay, good. That saves me a lot of paperwork. What's the account number? B H one one nine K. B H one one nine. B H one one nine K. Beach Hill? Are you serious? Um, yes? That's right, I'm the new deputy curator, Nancy Drew. Well, whoop de doo it's Nancy Drew. <laughs> but Silvio's curatorial what? bonanza no longer does business with Beach Hill. I've sent all six of the outstanding invoices to a collection agency. Oh, no. And you jokers no. won't get another packing peanut out of Silvio Jr. ever. Do not call here again. And then I immediately call him again. No, we're not going to do that. Well, uh, I don't really know what to do without that now, so let's talk to Henrik. I see you succeeded in reconstructing that Maya pot. Do you know what the glyph on it means? Uh, no? Something like, don't play ball in the house? <laughs> Place name glyphs are some of the rarest and most difficult to translate. Even most of my colleagues wouldn't have a clue about this one. Ah, but I'm a rare breed myself, Nancy. 
and this is one of my areas of expertise. You're, you're a rare breed yourself, huh? Are you like some sort of dog or something? Are you like a, are you a Goldie? Are you a Goldie? I don't know. In the words of Nicholas Falcone, come on, spill it. The glyph on that pot signifies the great ancient Maya city of Copan in Honduras. There happens to be a very important dig going on there right now. Do you know any of the archaeologists there? I have a few connections, yes. I'm keeping up with hmm. the action by ham radio. Hmm, interesting. I'm supposed to order more packing supplies, but the company says they won't do business with us anymore. Does Beach Hill have bills it can't pay? Uh, no comment. But Henrik, how am I supposed to get this order taken care of? I hereby absolve you of that task. If Joanna wants things shipped, she can stuff them into garbage bags for all I care. Ooh. <laughs> See you around, Sounds Henrik. like somebody's not too happy will. with Joanna. Alright, well, I guess I can cross uh, the uh, packing tape off my list. Um, um, I think we'll save the narrations for next episode. Right now, we will reorder the Mayan numbering exhibit in the main exhibition hall. Just because I can. Oh wait, before we do that, I'm going to look in this drawer first. Oh, hello, what's this? Knob. Property of Sunny June. Notes, notes, notes. I hate that bull game. It's all random. Or is it? Choosing when I pass when the computer passes. Four pieces of corn, different than dice. Try Pascal's triangle. One, two, three. I have no idea what the heck this is. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck is this? Is this supposed to be Alejandro? Wow, Sunny sure likes to doodle. <laughs> Oh, these are some of the most hilarious drawings I've ever seen. Blah, blah, blah. Stop breaking my stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Quit daydreaming. Stop losing my things. <laughs> and there's Joanna. Oh, and this looks like Sinclair. He's your Sinclair. I don't know. Not ah, French. What am I saying? Um, Hurricane Sun. Oh, looks like. Sunny is Hurricane Sunny is toppling over Beach Hill. Hmm. Hmm. This seems like a uh, a guide to the narrations, the narration project that might come in handy later. Um. Anything else in here? Hmm. Sunny sure seems to have an obsession with uh, an obsession with doodling and aliens. And Coco Kringles for that matter. Alright, well anyway, let's go rearrange that Mayan number exhibit. Um a thing here. I nice. should look for the missing tiles. Oh, we have some tiles missing. That's not good. Um, but I know where they are. Um, no. You're supposed to go this way, Nancy. There we go. See, Nancy, you know how to walk now. Um, let's see. One will be over here. And then the other will be... Um, it's over this way, to the left, it's right here, this one right here. Alright, so, now that we have these two tiles, we can put them back into the Maya numbering system. But unfortunately, we don't know how to order them. Well, uh, it's kind of too late for me to do the uh, task of real. Um, what is it? The task, the task of uh, the narrations, because that's probably gonna take me a while. So we're gonna go look at Sunny's um, notes here. 
on Nancy's laptop. I need a disc. I, I have a disc for you, Nancy. Oh, it's password protected. Um. S. J? Nope. Hmm. Very interesting. Co. Co. Kringle. There we go. Alright, so let's look at stuff to do. Alright, so. Uh, JR is hounding me to get this done. The headphones will help me figure out what is, what is displaying in the display. What is playing, I mean, what is playing in the display. And here's a list of what goes with what. He's already, um, this list that is shown here, uh, excuse me, here, um, uh, these, um, narrations are already put perfectly into order, so I don't think you need to worry about those, but I'll have to double check later. Um, here we have the number my my numbering system. Um, zero looks like a turtle shell, but no turtle. Dot equals one. Two dots equal two, etc. A bar equals five. And then he's got this whole thing on how it works. So, all right, so a bar next to a dot is one, five plus one. Is five plus one, which is six. So the bars, are, okay, he says the bars are usually vertical. Here's the cache. If it doesn't look like a dot or a bar, it doesn't count. So, all right. Yeah, the my, all right, so here, the my often put decorative marks next to the numbers just to, so just ignore anything that is not a bar and or a dot. Um, let's see. It's easy to see me on the job, right? Not quite. All right. So some guides also represent numbers. They're pretty easy. They're pretty tough to pick out at first, but they'll grow on you. Just like mold on cheese. Good rules of thumb. And then we have a list of the gods on the my numbering system. So one has a fish lips, nose, and a good set of teeth. Two, a big hat with five fingers, um, quotes, and a semi-oval in it. Um, three, looks like a doctor. Four, has his or her tongue sticking out. Five, has wrinkles and a fancy hat. Um, six, wears an eye patch with an X in it, etc. Um, uh, Seven wears rectangular glasses with a small oval, oval, oval in the forehead. Waxac has a curly forehead ornament, a peace symbol on, on the cheek. Nine has a beard. Um, ten looks like death. Um, Eleven is frothing at the mouth. Twelve, he doesn't know. T um, Thirteen has a T, has a T on the cheek. Four. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 look like all the original numbers put with the removable jaw of Lahan. All right, so that's good to know. Stuff to forget. Temple quizzes. Um, I can't figure out the answer to level two. About the matchmaker, Henrik isn't speaking to me right now. He is way too touchy about that old ham radio. radio. Um, I came up with a great question for level three, but Henrik hates it. Uh, once I get some time, I'll make an exhibit for this and stuff to work on. Distillation topic. And this is just a bunch of stuff about, this is just a bunch of Sunny's random notes as far as I can tell. But I'm running out of time here. So next time on Nancy Drew's Secret of the Scarlet Hand, we are going to be rearranging that Maya number exhibit and possibly working on the narrations, okay? See you guys next time.